punch the biggest one of the trip. Test one, two, we're in action, baby. How's it going guys, Huntfish Maniac, back for another great episode, northern tip of Vancouver Island today, back with my dad, got some family members up, anyway we're going to go after a lot of bottom fish today, lingcod and halibut, we're going to be targeting them, we got about a 30, 40 mile run out there, stay tuned, we got some great fishing coming up. So the old sailor's myth don't bring a banana on the boat. My brother-in-law and I have so completely convinced ourselves that it's not true. We've tested it time and time again, commercial fishing, sporty fishing, but my dad really thinks it's bad luck. You actually believe in the in the banana thing? Nah, it's just that superstition. So I just put a banana on his boat and he has no idea. So let's see what happens. Okay, just got out, 30 miles, give or take, hour and a half run, super bumpy out here, it's supposed to turn around on us. We're going to try jigging, doing a little back trolling, uh, some swim baits, some, uh, some uh, spreader bars, we got some herring, we got some fresh octopus, and uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna give it a whirl, but if it doesn't work, we're going to try down rigging. Skipping bottom with some some big spoons, even some body baits. You know, a lot of a lot of people don't realize. A lot of you guys don't realize that you can get these halibut and these lingcod with the downriggers and actually trolling them. That's how they get them commercially. You call it gang trolling, and you're you're just trolling the bottom. And but we're we're gonna see how it goes. Like I said, it's a bit bumpy. We're gonna see how how thrashed around we get out here. And uh, let's go. Let's get some fish. I am gonna put out. Nice piece of that. Oh, what nice piece of what? And that way, if they hit it once, my theory says they'll hit it again because it tastes good. Okay. And octopus stays on the hook real good. Oh, Ooh. oh there we go. Still on there, man. Oh, wow! The pleasures of fishing. Yeah. Oh, oh he's still shaking. Nice hey. one. Ah, <laughs> nail it. Much longer. Sorry, sorry. No. Nice, nice fish. Pull him by the tail now. We go. We got one on here. Again, just popping that bottom. When you get into that gravel, though, it's always good to keep it up above the bottom. I was jigging it there, about a, about a foot off bottom. I'm trying to stay away from the yellow eyes. They're protected. So if you're getting a lot of yellow eyes, normally you're onto a big, you know, gravel bar, you know, you try to move, you know, the ling cod are, are definitely in the halibut, they're all together, but hopefully, hopefully we got a nice ling here. There we go. Yeah, oh, I got there we go. Nice eater. Nice fish. Number three. Grab that hook, Craig? Yeah. Yeah. Nice heater. Throw them in the box. Fish and chips. Okay. Okay. Just still cruising. I got the white twister tail. Pretty traditional. Love it. Scented. Power bait. 
A lot of link cod down there, guys. Oh, it's Damn a spring. It. Oh. oh, I think he's tail wrapped. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Beaver, eh? Oh, yeah. Okay, you got him. Why not? On the cowbell? Why not? Oh, it is, eh? On the cowbell? Yeah, spring salmon on the cowbell. Okay, a little bit update. We we uh, had about a noon slack tide. Slack tide is always the best, guys. You know, first light, evenings, yes, great, midday, you know, it, you can catch fish anytime. Obviously, you're not going to catch any fish if you're not trying, but um, slack tides, always concentrate on the slacks. Uh, all those link cod we just caught were within about an hour window. Absolutely slaughtered them. They turned right on on that low slack tide, picked a bunch of fish up, died right off. So, tried again for a little bit. Uh, now we're trying something different. What I've done with the downriggers is, is I've set up a swim bait and I've got a twister tail, swim bait, a big spoon, and I'm actually onto a sand flat right now and I'm just skipping the bottom. So I've got my downrigger set up. Every once in a while, drop that downrigger ball right to the bottom, kind of pop it off the bottom and just hover in those baits. And we're just, I'm just trolling around one knot, one and a half knots, not too fast, just cruising these sand flats and trying to pick up some halibut. Okay, these are those yellow eyes we we're talking about, guys. They're protected now. You catch them super deep. They're like the Fred Flintstone largemouth bass for those Midwestern audience out there. But this is a pressurized switch that I, I put on its lip here. And depending on where you catch them, 150, 200, 250, you put them on here, you drop them down to the depth that they came from, they repressurize, and you've got a successful uh, catch and release. So I'm gonna drop them down. Doug, lifetime third generation commercial fisherman. He's the only one that's sick. Unbelievable. <laughs> yes, you made the cut. It doesn't even You made the sense. episode. <laughs> oh, it's a nice one. Nice one. Yeah, nice one. find these pinnacles but the steeper the drop off the better I find if it comes up to three four five six hundred feet sorry and, it, and it, you know that deep deep drop off comes up to a nice flat pinnacle there's always usually gonna be fish on top of it and this is a big ling it's been blowing northwest for a few days you know, it, we, we knew that it was going to turn around. We got a southeast gale coming in, and the sea's just starting to sit down. We're right in the middle of the swing, so great time to jig. Not much, not much of a slack, but oh, this is going to be a big fish. Oh, look at him spit that out. See that? Whoa, look at that. Look at him just spit that out. Just spit out a big quill back. Actually, it might be a black bass, but look at that. There we go, guys. Another nice linger. Beautiful fish. Oh, he's just squirming. Look at that. Nice fish. Dougie's still sick, but Doug, you want to kiss this? Make you feel better? Another beauty ling. Fish and chips. Anyway, it's starting to blow southeast pretty good. We're gonna head back to the dock. We got two more days of fishing. Hopefully we can get out tomorrow and get some more links. We didn't get any big halibut today, but we're gonna keep trying. We did a great job on links today though. Thanks again, stay tuned.